So what do you do about a jack for the lifted Toyota Tacoma? Well, good morning, everybody. How are you today? So you have a lifted Tacoma. You can't use the jack that it came with because frankly, it's just too high now. I mean, look how high this thing is. You know, the OEM jack was barely good enough before a lift, right? You know, I've been thinking about this for quite a while, actually, and it really should be such a simple thing, shouldn't it? And I don't even know if a lot of people think about this, but you know, you go out, you lift your Tacoma, which isn't really the, the big part of the problem. The problem is the taller tires. You put taller tires on it, you raise everything up in the air, right? Well, when you do that, you may, unless you're lucky, just void or eliminate uh, the jack that you have, right? Because it's only designed to go so high and it's pretty rickety as it is. I mean, once you extend it even further, it gets a little more scary. So I've been thinking about this and I, I keep going back and forth. You know, you have those high lifts, uh, but you really have to have some sort of a slider or something, you know, on the side of the truck to be able to hook those onto or maybe something in the front of the truck that you can uh, latch those under, if you will, so that you can actually raise the truck and not have whatever you've put it underneath collapse or bend or break or whatever, right? Well, I don't have that. I have side steps and they are just bolted to the uh, sheet metal on the truck. Certainly nothing I would wanna put a high lift under and pull the truck up in the air, right? So that kind of eliminates that possibility for me. Now. You could go the, the simple, uh, easy route, I guess, and just get a few hunks of wood, right? Uh, I've seen people do that, and I'm considering that myself, to be honest. It's actually not a bad idea. I mean, you can get a couple of two by sixes or whatever, cut them down, put them together. You can stack them as high as you want, really. And then that would be a pad, in essence, to sit your existing jack on. That should work pretty good, unless, you're at an angle and you really shouldn't jack the truck up if you're not on a flat surface anyway. I mean, let's face it, but in an emergency situation, maybe off road or maybe on the side of a road that's not real even, you know, you're gonna do what you gotta do, right? So I don't know how safe that really is. And then you have storage as an issue, you know, where are you gonna put them? Yeah, you could throw them in the back of the truck, but then they're gonna be subject to rain and everything else, unless you have a tonneau cover. Um, and they're gonna eventually break down. And you certainly don't wanna sit the weight of your truck on wood that's just gonna splinter and fall apart over time, right? But still, it's, uh, it's a pretty good solution. Now, I have seen uh, manufactured or already made, if you will, plastic pads out there that you can get, right? They're about, I don't know, yay inches high, which really isn't very high, but maybe enough that you can sit on the ground and sit your jack in. They're lightweight certainly strong enough to do, to do the job and uh, and pretty easy to store, I think, too. They're not too big. They're about yay big or so. That's another option, but the problem I've had there is trying to find one that works with uh, the existing Toyota Tacoma jack. I mean, they kind of have a little cutout on them, if you will, where the base of the jack is supposed to fit. Still not a bad idea. Now, that brings us to uh, the third possibility, I guess, and that's an extension for the jack. You know, something that'll fit over the top of the jack to take up more room to give you more space to lift. <sighs> My problem with that is the stability, right? Unless it fits right over the jack perfectly somehow, um, how stable is that really gonna be once you've got your truck up in the air? The last thing you wanna do is have your truck fall off the jack um, with the tire off. Obviously, you could be injured when that happens, but so could your truck, right? I mean, let's face it, you'll heal. The truck won't. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. You don't want that to happen. It's a safety concern. One more that I've, I've thought about is simply a, a bigger jack. Um, there are folks out there that sell, um, you know, like a floor jack kind of thing that will go higher, right? Specifically for lifted trucks. They cost a fortune. I mean, you're looking at anywhere from man, probably two to 500 bucks or so uh, to pick one of those up. So I'm not real hip on that. I'm not looking at spending, you know, upwards of 500 bucks for a 
for a jack when I could buy a two by six for, I don't know, 12 bucks, something like that. Uh, have it cut down into a couple, three, maybe two uh, lengths, put them together and use that. So I'm not exactly sure. The other thing for me, uh, being that I like to customize things, I guess, is if I had the wood uh, uh, option, I could paint it, I could paint it voodoo blue. I have voodoo blue paint uh, to match the truck. I could put Tacoma on it. You know, I could dress it up so that, you know, it really becomes more than just an eyesore sitting in the back of the truck or somewhere uh, waiting to be used. That sounds kind of cool and kind of fun. A little project, I like to do stuff like that anyway. So that might, might be kind of cool to do and I might actually go with that option. I could also, in putting those boards together, uh, do it in such a manner that I could um, firm up or secure the foot of the jack, if you will, in between a couple of bolts or nuts or whatever, so that it didn't move around uh, too much. I actually just thought of that while I'm talking on here to you guys. Uh, but that would be a way to kind of stabilize the jack on the boards, if you will. Uh, that would make me feel a little bit more secure uh, in using something like that if I had to. The problem for me right now is, is I really don't have a jack. Yeah, I have this spare tire, which is now mounted underneath. Uh, but in all honesty, if something happened, uh, I don't really have a good way to jack the truck up, or at least not a, a way to do it that I feel comfortable with doing it. You know what I mean? So I think it's, it's time to take the final step, uh, get something uh, that will satisfy the need, because I do think there's a big need. I think that having a jack that you can actually utilize um, is just part of the security of having all these other things that I have in particular um, to make the truck what I want it to be, and that is a bug out truck. Anyway, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. I'm curious if you have a lifted truck um, or really taller tires, um, what you're doing, what you're utilizing. And I'm not talking about the high lifts. Uh, again, for me, I don't have a, a point, I guess, to secure a high lift that I am comfortable with anyway, um, to use it the way that it should be used. So high lifts are out for me. Um, I'm either looking for a new jack, uh, something a little more affordable for what it is, or um, some way to extend uh, the existing jack uh, that I have. So leave a comment down below. Let me know what you're using. I'd really be curious to know. Also, real quick, if you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.